Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's join pharmacy. How are you all? Hope all of you are fine. Uh, preparations are going well. Maybe you are doing well in your examination. Don't worry. Whatever you know, okay. You just write the concepts. You are the only one hope for yours. Okay. You cannot depend on others. You are the only hope for you. So write whatever you want. Don't think, sir. I wrote this one. The marks they will means they will give the marks or not. Whether the correction has been a strict or liberal, these all questions are arising in your mind. Just forget. Just you write. Just you come, relax, prepare for the next paper. Okay, you keep this sequence. Now M C that is medicine chemistry one important questions with notes. See today P O C three paper. The paper also easy only means what questions I had given no. All the questions have they are asked in the exam. so this notes also available if you want you can get it 50 rupees per subject uh, down in the description whatsapp number is there there you can get yeah first question in 10 mark define and classify anti convulsants giving example with one structure from each class synthesizes and uses of carbazepine and phenytoin very simple you have to define first and you have to write the convulsants okay one structure from each classes one structure is enough if you want you can write to two structures also no problem but one structure is a mandatory here and you have to write the synthesis of the carba carbazepine and phenytoin and try to remember you have to write uses side effects uh, contraindications mechanism of action and synthesizers remember whether you don't know synthesizers means at least to write these all thing define classification side effects at least to try to write this thing clear what i am telling yeah next one is what are anti inflammatory agents classify them with example See, define. You have to define, classify with the structures. Okay, mechanism of action. You write uses. You write side effect. You write. Uh, then, what are sympathomimetic agents? Cholinergic agents, sympathomimetic agents. See, example here. You have to define, classify, uses, mechanism of action, synthesizers. Here they have asked the salbutamol. Okay, salbutamol. Sometimes they will ask about the. This time they ask salbutamol, but uh, they will ask like itro itrotropium bromide. clear what i am telling so you try to remember all that thing all those thing then next one is uh, here you remember define classify beta adrenergic blocking agent that is anti hypertensive you have to write here define you have to classify sar mechanism of action synthesizers same for all here same for all next one no uh, define anti psychotic drugs write the structure of any four drugs to treat the same from different classes anti psychotic drugs you have to write classify you have to write some classifications one one structural example okay, then no chlorpromazine hydrochloride you have to write one structure synthesis for this then general anesthetics you have to define those and you write all then difference between narcotic and non narcotic narcotic you know morphine you have to write non narcotic these all are anti inflammatory drug they are non narcotic analgesic then uh, you write the structure of ibuprofen and mefenamic acid this you remember ibuprofen mefenamic acid Five mark question: Define bio transformation. What is its importance? Sites of bio transformation. Here, uh, define important sites. Uh, then classify cholinergic agents. Classify synthesizers. This all you have to write. Then discuss the SAR of barbiturate. Define classify user side effects. F SAR. Note on alpha and beta adrenergic blockers. Define classify. You remember everything. If any ask means uh, in medicinal chemistry any question, define is very important. Classification is very important. User side effects. This all. Right. Uh, explain the role of hydrogen bonding and protein bond binding. This you remember. Then what are narcotic antagonist? Okay, narcotic antagonist that you have to write antagonist means which prevent the action of the narcotic drugs. Then uh, discuss hepatic and extra hepatic metabolism. Hepatic means phase one and phase two. You have to explain extra hepatic means. you can take other than liver skin also there also metabolism takes place kidney also metabolism takes takes place you have to write that explain the importance of optical activity and bioisotermes in drug action okay write the synthesis of the dicyclamine hydrochloride discuss its mechanism of action uses and possible side effects see mechanism of action of dicyclamine hydrochloride uses contraindications you have to write down okay then itratropium bromide it is a cholinergic antagonist you have to write the uses side effects and all Yes, these are the sixteen five marks questions and uh, seven uh, ten mark question. You practice these uh, two marks, you will get separately in the notes. Very important one, and uh, definitely you will pass from these questions. Thank you.